Hello, welcome to the world of computer aided design with SOLIDWORKS. In today's session, we are going to get familiar with the user interface of SOLIDWORKS. After you install SOLIDWORKS 2019 on your system, its icon will be created on your desktop. Double click on this icon, the system will prepare to start SOLIDWORKS and after some time, this SOLIDWORKS window will be displayed on the screen. If you are opening SOLIDWORKS for the first time, the SOLIDWORKS License Agreement dialog box will be displayed. Choose the Accept button in that dialog box. The SOLIDWORKS 2019 window will open and SOLIDWORKS Resources task pane will be displayed on the right. This task pane can be used to open online tutorials and to visit the website of SOLIDWORKS partners. Also, the Welcome SOLIDWORKS 2019 dialog box will be invoked simultaneously. This dialog box can be used to open a new file or to open an existing file. SOLIDWORKS is divided into three different modes like you can see here. Part mode, assembly mode and the drawing mode. Part mode of SOLIDWORKS is a feature-based parametric environment in which you can create solid models. In the assembly mode, you can assemble components of the assembly with the help of required tools. The drawing mode is used for the documentation of the parts or the assemblies created earlier in the form of drawing views. And this procedure for creating drawing views is called drafting. Now let me click on this part option here to invoke the part mode of SOLIDWORKS so that we can understand the interface in a much better way. So I'll click on this part button here. You can see we are directed to the part environment of SOLIDWORKS. In this part mode, you are provided with three default planes, named as the front plane, the top plane and the right plane. First, you need to select a sketching plane to create a sketch for the base feature. Before we select a sketching plane, I want to tell you that this is the Feature Manager Design Tree tab. It stores all the steps and history of the part which we create here in the drawing environment. Now, as I said, you need to select a sketching plane to create a sketch for the base feature. So let me click on this front plane here. Now, as I click on this front plane option here, you can see a flyout of tools is displayed here, which the first button is the sketch button. So let me click on the sketch button. Now we are in the sketching environment of SOLIDWORKS. Also, here we have some command managers like the features command manager, sketch command manager, surfaces command manager, weldments command manager, and so on. The respective command managers have some tools assigned to them. Like in the sketch command manager, you can find all the sketching tools. If I click on this features command manager, you can find all the tools that are used to create features. In the surfaces command manager, you will find all the relevant tools for creating surfaces. Let me click on the sketch command manager. I want to create a sketch for the base feature. So I will choose this circle tool here. Then I'll click here for the center of the circle and I'll create a circle of radius 52.81. You can see while I am creating the circle, we have shifted to the property manager tab here. And all the properties of this circle are displayed here in this property manager. Like you can see here, the circle type is center and radius. Currently it is under defined sketch and the radius value is 52.81. We can change the radius value using this edit box. Let me make it 60. I'll press enter after typing 60. You can see the radius of the circle has changed. Now after making all the settings in this property manager, I'll click on this close dialog button. So we have created the sketch for the base feature. Now we need to exit the sketching environment. So I will click on this exit sketch tool here. Now, as we have created the sketch for the base feature, I'll shift to the features command manager tab. Next, I will click on this extruded boss base tool, add some thickness to this sketch. So I'll use the grips to add thickness to this model. Next, I'll click on this 
OK button. You can see we have created the base feature for the model. So to summarize, these are the command manager tabs. This is the ribbon. This is the feature manager design tree. And if I keep on shifting, I'll keep on getting the property manager, configuration manager, dim expert manager, and so on. Also here at the top, we have this menu bar. Currently this menu bar is pinned. Here is the spin button. If I click on it, you can see the menu bar is gone. Now, if I hover my cursor over the SOLIDWORKS icon here, you can see the menu bar gets expanded. Using this menu bar, we can start a new file, open an existing file, save files, print files, and so on. You can also use the editing tools from this edit dropdown. Using this insert dropdown, we can use the tools that are available in this features command manager. Also, we have this quick access toolbar here. The first button in this quick access toolbar is welcome to SOLIDWORKS. If I click on this button, we'll get this welcome SOLIDWORKS premium 2019 window. And using this window, you can check the recent documents. You can open any mode of the SOLIDWORKS like the path mode, assembly mode, drawing mode, or you can open an existing file. From the resources area of this dialog box, you can see what's new in this version of SOLIDWORKS. You can get support from SOLIDWORKS team by clicking on this get support button. You can put your queries in the SOLIDWORKS forum and so on. And using these other tools in the quick access toolbar, we can start a new file, open an existing file, save file, undo our actions and so on. You can also change the unit system that you're working in using this unit system button here. If you click on this button, you'll get different options to set units for your drawing. Like currently, MMGS option is selected, which means millimeter, gram, and second. You can change it to MKS system, CGS system, or IPS system. Here we have the status bar. The status bar keeps on telling us some important information while we are creating the models in the drawing area. And this is the views head up toolbar here. The tools available in this toolbar are used to zoom drawings, get the section views, set the view orientations, set the display style, control the visibility of the models and sketches and so on. I hope after watching this video, you will get familiar with the user interface of SOLIDWORKS. Thank you for watching this video.